Hey everyone, it's Sarah Gallagher here and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a personal story about how I coped with my boyfriend Curtis Chasky's bad temper. Now, I know what you're thinking Curtis is a great guy, but he has a bit of a temper. Similar to Trevor Phillips from Grand Theft Auto V. But what you may not know is that Curtis has ADHD and intellectual learning disabilities. And let me tell you, it's not easy for him. He struggles with everyday tasks, and he gets frustrated easily. Sometimes, that frustration can lead him to do things that he regrets later. We've all seen Trevor's epic rages in GTA V, right? But what you may not know is that my boyfriend Curtis has a similar temper. Trevor! You been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole! Don't do it, Johnny! I told him, Trevor! I told him! We all get high! We all get high! But that don't Leave make it, it right! Johnny. Leave it! The crystal has got us, babe, but don't make it right! Don't make At first, it was really tough for me to deal with. I'm a peaceful person, and I hate conflict. But I, I realized that Curtis's temper wasn't about me. It was about his own struggles and frustrations. He feels like he's constantly fighting against his own brain, and it's exhausting for him. So I learned to be patient and understanding. I learned to give him space when he needed it and to be there for him when he was ready to talk. I learned to recognize the signs of frustration and to intervene before things escalated. We worked together to find ways to manage his ADHD and learning disabilities. We found accommodations that helped him succeed and we celebrated his strengths. We also found healthy outlets for his frustration like exercise and creative pursuits. And you know what? It worked. Curtis's temper started to get better, and our relationship started to flourish. We became closer and stronger, and we learned to communicate in ways that we never thought possible. But just like Trevor, Curtis has a hard time controlling his anger. But instead of destroying things, Curtis turns his frustration into creative outlets. Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy. All right, let's let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! It's not always easy, and there are still tough days. But I know that Curtis is worth it. He's a good person, and he's trying his best. And that's all anyone can ask for. But when Curtis gets frustrated or mad, there are some things that he does that can be really challenging for me. He swears way more than anyone I've ever known. It's like his brain goes into overdrive and he can't stop himself from lashing out. It's like a computer learning system that's been programmed to respond in a certain way and he can't seem to override it. And sometimes he can be a bit of a smart ass. He's got a quick wit and he's always ready with a comeback. But while that can be funny at times, it can also be hurtful and damaging, especially if someone is on the receiving end of one of his outbursts. It's not always easy, and there are still tough days, but I know that Curtis is worth it. He's a good person, and he's trying his best. Fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you then! Johnny! Wait! <laughs> Now, we gotta speak to Johnny's recently bereaved brothers. And let me tell you, it's worse if someone gets on his bad side. He can hold a grudge like nobody's business, and he won't hesitate to lash out if he feels like someone has wronged him. It's like he has a switch that gets flipped, and suddenly he's in full-on attack mode. But despite all of this, I know that Curtis is a good person. He's got a heart of gold, and he would do anything for the people he cares about and he's working hard to manage his temper and his frustration. He's learning new ways to cope and he's getting better every day. So even though it can be tough at times, I know that our relationship is worth it. I know that Curtis is worth it. 
and I'm grateful to be on this journey with him. So if you're dealing with someone who has a temper or frustration issues, just know that you're not alone. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Take the time to understand what they're going through and be patient with them. Offer support and encouragement and help them find ways to manage their emotions. And if you're the one struggling with anger or frustration, know that there is hope. Don't be afraid to reach out for help and don't give up on yourself. You are capable of change and you are worthy of love and respect. Thanks for watching everyone. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And if you want to support me on my journey, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. Until next time, take care and stay positive.